What's going on everybody? It's Josh again from Jarrell's Diecast Customs and in today's video we went to Target and we found some slick new ID cars. I did my damn homework, went there every day for like a friggin' week and a half, maybe even two weeks and they said they were gonna hit on the 21st. Lo and behold, they hit on the 21st. Went on, went to work, went after work to Target like I said and I was lucky. Um, the All the Batmobiles were missing which I didn't really care about but I was gonna snag one for my buddy Paul if they were there. Um, but I did get three of my Z's, which I was super pumped about. And that, that, um, Centenario, Centenario Roadster is going to be real slick. So I'm going to dive right into these. Um, what I'm actually going to do first is I'm going to run you guys through my loose high wheels ID collection really quick. And I'm going to break into these bad boys afterwards. So I'm going to hop right in. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> and, uh, so first one up is going to be this Mercedes AMG GTS. I believe it's what it's called. AMG GT. I uh, love that Spectre Flame Gray. Looks super hot. Anything that they do in this color, the Spectre Flame Gray, all about that life. Super dig it. It looks really, really good. I actually like the yellow on there too. I love the Spectre Flame paint. Oh, that's what gets me going about these things. And the full details too, they're winners. They're definite winners. This one was a pickup that I had to get. You know, I've mentioned the delivering pizzas before. It's a Hot Wheels pizza delivery vehicle. Fiat 500. 500. I like this thing. What's going on with the front in there? Oh, it's in a Barth logo down there. That's awesome, actually. There's one down there, too. Wow, man, this thing's more detailed than I thought. I never even noticed that. Cool beans. I have so many Spectre Flame Orange cars. It's a little outrageous. This one, this is an ID Chase. This is that Night Shifter, right? Yep, Night Shifter. That's cool. I like the paint color on that, too. It really pops. It's like a bluish gray. Real slick. Next up is the Jaguar F-Pace, I-Pace E-Trophy. And it's like this SUV type thing, but it's all electric. Really dig the aqua color on this one. Looks really good. It's a little chunky on the front end. Looks a little beefy up there. But I think they did an alright job. I wish I could release one with a lower front end and like a regular mainline casting. I think that'd be pretty nice. Next up is going to be this Volkswagen uh, T1 GTR. Sorry, I, some of the names mix me up on these ones because they're a little bit different than some of the main lines. But I like this one. It's basically just a, uh, almost like a Zamac type. And the roof actually pops off on this. I like that German colored stripe too. Interior is pretty detailed as well. I'll actually just rip it open quick. There you go. A lot going on in there. And then just click. Pops right back on. Then we got one of the best looking ones, I think, it, personally in my collection, is the... Um, I almost said Aston Martin. The McLaren Senna. Full details on these, like I said, and this one is a friggin' banger. The Spectra Flame Blue is gorgeous, and it just looks very, very nice, fully detailed. Premium version of this, probably going to be coming soon, I'm hoping, and this it's going to look real good once they do it. If they don't, I'll settle for this, because it's a beaut. It is a beaut. Next up, another one of my personal favorites, Nissan GTR. Y'all know I'm all about that JDM-ish. So when I found this one, had to snag it up. My buddy Ken had one, and I'm like, dude, I need one. And I looked for a little while, and I found one. I don't like the higher front end. Like, it's good for ripping on the track, which is why they do that. Um, so I, I understand it. I mean, I definitely get it. I wish it wasn't like that. But, I mean, I like how the tampos on these are, like, very perfect. And that's awesome, man. That's why I love these so much. It's worth the, the $4.99, in my opinion. I don't use the chip in them at all. The chip in them. <laughs> I've been saying that a lot of the past videos. I think it's going to be a, a running trend for these videos, I feel like. Uh, next up is the Audi R8 LMS. And another one that's the Spectra Flame, Spectra Flame Gray. Um, I dig it. Really, really dig the color in this one. Not a huge fan of the red, I guess you could say. I wish it was maybe like a more of a dark red. But paint color on it, top notch. Top notch. Big wheels, though. It's weird. I wish I did the casting that has the smaller wheels on it. This has got like the medium size, larger wheels. I don't know what size technically call them, but 
Get bigger than the normal ones, I'll tell you what. Then up, I got a couple, I got a pair of these here. So I'm gonna show you both of them. Got the Lamborghini Miras in green and gold. Both absolutely beautiful cars. Um, the, the paint, like I said, I cannot get over the paint on these things, guys. Look at that. Which one would you pick, the green or the gold? Because, I mean, for me, it's up in the air. It's a toss-up. Absolute friggin' toss-up. Oh, God, those are so nice. I love this new fucking phone. It focuses so well. Focus. 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 <laughs> it's fantastic. Green or gold? Tell me which one. I'm going green. We're going for the green. Next up, we got a beefy boy. We got a beefy boy in this next one. This is the Highway Hauler 3.0. Another one in that Spectra Flame Gray. You all know him about it. I've only said it about 12 times in this video so far. But this is a cool one. Uh, I like the Legends Tour Deco on the side, the Bone Shaker. Pretty neat. Thought it was cool. I mean, I've only seen this one in stores a couple times. Um, they also have that newer one. like the, It's called a Tank Full, I think is what it's called. Maybe. Um, but it's like that big, you know, it's like a, a tanker truck version of this. I think it's got a similar cab, uh, but just a different, you know, rear end on it, but it's cool. I dig it. This one's got a little less decos. Well, not less decos. Cause I mean, you got the roof still detailed and everything. These things are so cool, man. <laughs> They're so damn cool. Underrated. Not enough people talk about these ID cars. I think they're really, really cool. Corvette C7R. Um, and this really cool Tiger Stripe Spectra Flame Red. This is one of the first ones I picked up, actually. I had this one in the box for a long time. I actually was contemplating selling it, and I threw it up for sale, and nobody wanted it. And once I actually really started getting back into these ID cars, I opened it up, and I was like, dude, this thing is sick looking. Like, the paint on these are bonkers, man. Incredible paint. Absolutely incredible said it so many times you guys are probably getting bored you guys probably like does he know how any other words besides incredible and awesome and spectra flame paint <laughs> there's a fuzz on it pagani huara another one in a beautiful blue i like the uh you know the italian stripe deco through the side there um very clean they're all they're all very clean you know all like the regular cars that they do for the most part have been like nice Clean decos, which is great. You know, I'm about that. And I like one thing I like doing on these is throwing some real riders on these guys. Because I'm like basically creating my own treasure hunts with these. I also slapped a metal base on this one. Um, I found so many of these things. I was like, you know what? I got to drill one apart and turn on a new custom. I wish they did the taillights on this one. This is the, uh, it's an ID chase of the escort. And, uh, yeah, they don't have as much detailing as the regular ID releases do because they have to put them in the $1 packages. But still, I mean, it's a banger. I like the uh, the orange on there. It kind of like fades from like a dark to a light on this one, which is kind of neat. Um, you guys can probably see that. Come on, focus. There we are. So it's like really it's like quite dark in the front and then it fades to, you know, relatively lighter in the back. Thought it was pretty cool. And we got another escort. This is the Paul Walker escort from the Fast and the Furious movies. I actually, it's funny enough, I took the base from the Escort, the premium Escort from the Fast and the Furious movies to put it on this one. But it's cool. This one's got full decos. Good looking color on that one, too. Oh, man, look at those taillights. That's awesome. Then we got one I picked up from my girly because she's all about the Star Wars. And uh, she's actually got Darth Vader tattooed on her friggin' leg. So I was like, you know what? Found this one. It was a must grab. It was a must grab. <laughs> I'm not Darth Vader, but that was the best I could do. <laughs> then we got this guy. This is the... Uh... Which, which Batmobile? The Tumblr? Is this a Tumblr? I think this might be the Tumblr Batmobile, which I think is, in my opinion, the coolest one. It's a badass. It's a badass beefy boy in those movies. But this is cool. It's like the, uh, it's got like a 
camo-ish green. I thought there was more of like a camo splatter on there, but there's not. It's kind of like an olive olive green uh, Spectra Flame. Man, if they did a super in that color, oh, god damn, that would be hot. That would be so cool looking. Oh, those are Batman logos spray painted on there, kind of. Yeah, see that? Get this focus, yeah. That's pretty cool. That's neat. Then the last two Lucy's I got here is going to be this BMW i8 and another one in Spectra Flame Orange. Uh, it's kind of a goofier looking casting in my opinion. Those l windows and it's just kind of an oddly shaped car. They kind of made it a little too chunky. A little too chunky monkey. But it's good looking. Found I think they found this one at Dollar Tree for a buck. I found a bunch of these at Dollar Tree for a buck. The one that I missed out on is a freaking Mustang. I want that Falcon Mustang. If you guys got it, let me know in the comments. I'll buy one off you for like, you know. You know, don't don't rip me off, but I'll trade for one if you want. That's one of my favorite ones. It's one of my favorite ones that I have right here is the Time Shifter. I love it's JDM as fuck. This one is. And I just I am all about it. The colors on it are sick. You have like the blue glass with the the purple bottom and the Spectra Flame paint in gray, like you guys know I dig. And it's just so cool looking. And it's 90s as hell too, which is I'm all about. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Then real quick, I'll run you guys through my uh, ID chases that I got too. We got the time shifter chase. I got from my buddy Paul. Thanks, Paul. You're the man. And then I got this one, which I actually have one of these for my buddy Paul. Because <laughs> he gave me this one. Brothers helping brothers. This is Batman Arkhamite uh, ID chase. And then we got this goofy thing. The Motosaurus. Paint color on it's cool. I will say that. The car is not cool. I found it and I wasn't going to leave it. Couldn't leave it. Then you guys saw both of these ones. You know, loose. I threw the uh, metal base on this guy. And then this one you guys saw loose. And then this one is the probably the best looking one, in my opinion. The Dodge Charger RT. Um, really, really good looking version of the Charger, in my opinion. Um, I also had the... S Martin 177. I got rid of that. I don't remember if I sold it or if I traded it, but it's it's gone. Um, but let's crack these bad boys open. I'm real excited about this. We're going to do this Lamborghini Centenario Roadster first in this beautiful red. Um, these are obviously going to have the full deco on them as well. I'm going to crack these open right now. I never opened them or anything, so. Bang. Oh, goodness, look at that. The wheels are black. Oh, dude, this thing is sick. Wow, this thing is super cool, dude. That thing's badass. That thing is super badass. Whoop, come on now. Focus for me. Look at those details. Lamborghini written on the back. You have the taillights. Look at that fucking paint. Hoops. Sorry for my language, but hot. Damn, that is a beaut. Oh my god, that that paint is like my that is like my favorite paint color that Hot Wheels has ever come out with. This might be one of my favorite Hot Wheels cars that I have. Wow. If this thing is this nice, I cannot wait to open up the uh the Z. Because I was excited about the Z, and oh my god, this thing is amazing looking. That red is so nice with the black wheels. For some reason, I thought it had like, you know, like a gray or a chrome wheel, which I was going to be down with. But man, those black wheels look sick. Man, that looks really good. All right, you know what? We're going to bang right into this guy. I'm going to set this one right here so you guys can look at that. Wow. Man, I, that thing was that thing was nice. That thing was really nice. And this one, Nissan Fair Lady Z. Uh, I was hoping they're all like the same, you know, shade of this. I was wondering if they were going to be lighter or darker. They were all the same shade, which is cool. Um, we're going to die right on in, though. Yes. Does it have black wheels on it, too? This might have black wheels on it, too, guys. Oh, my goodness gracious. 
Oh my god. This is another one, dude. Wow. Absolute banger. Look at those. Oh my god, look at this, guys. This is so nice. I am such a huge fan of that. What kind of... Uh, Hawkins Racing. Compost Batteries. Perec. Team 240. Yeah, baby. Got Mark Jones is probably the designer. Hot Wheels ID logo on the back. Cox logo. Wow, man. These IDs, man, they're they're underrated. Not many, not too many people are featuring these things. And I'm telling you what, they're stunners. I tell you, I don't know, I don't know. I'm trying to come up with like my top few favorites, and I think they're gonna have to go as follows. So we got the McLaren Senna. I just thought that was super clean, very well done. I like all the headlights and the uh, running lights and stuff painted on the front there. This one, the, I keep forgetting the name, Time Shifter. I have a pizza pizza truck version of this too. Had it in my car for the longest time. Awesome. And then these two are immediate number one and twos for me. But I'm not going to be able to tell you which ones are what because they're both amazing cars. You guys tell me in the comments down below which one is your favorite because I, I cannot choose. That red paint is absolutely amazing though. It is so deep. That is very nice. That is very, very nice. Let me know down below what you guys think, guys. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you guys are new, I'd love for you guys to comment and subscribe. Um, if you guys have not checked out my Instagram yet, I would suggest you please do that. Uh, I've been really, really active on there lately. My last post has almost 400 lights, and it's of a gorgeous purple skyline that I did. And... Uh, yeah, it's it blew up, and I was very shocked that it had almost 400 likes because I'm, I'm not that type of guy, I tell you what. But uh, thanks for tuning in again, guys. Like I said, if you're new, please like and comment and subscribe. I'd love for you guys to do that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.